So you'd like to know how to use Procreate to make line drawings for mosaics. Well, you're in the right place. I'm Helen Miles and I'm here to teach you all the tips and tricks you need to make mosaics. If you're following my two part series on using Procreate to make line drawings for mosaics, you will know that at the end of part one, we uploaded the photograph. So we're taking up the story from then about what we do once the photograph is uploaded and how we manipulate it and change it to suit what we want to do as mosaicists. Here we are where we left off last time. We've downloaded the image, we've created our frame, and now we're going to change it. Uh, well, first we're going to do the line drawing and then we're going to change it a bit. Uh, so just to get it exactly right for our purposes. I'm, I want this to be just a little bit bigger just for the purposes of working on it and for you to be able to see. So in order to enlarge it, I'm not changing the size of the square or of anything, but simply to enlarge it on the screen, I pinch and pull out like that. So in, out, in. So I'm pulling it out like that. So what I want to do is copy this chicken stroke hen. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. So I press that little plus sign and I have an empty layer. In theory, from, from now on, I could just draw over the chicken, draw, draw around it. But of course, as you can see, my lines are not very clear uh, because the photograph is quite strong. So I'll just tap two fingers to get rid of those two lines I just drew and show you how to reduce the intensity of the photograph. So go back into layers, press the inserted image, which will then be highlighted in blue, and press this little N here, which uh, with, and there's an, an opacity um, line, and I'm just gonna pull it back to about that level. That's about 40%. So of course I can easily see the chicken, but it's not dominating the way it was previously. So now I'm going to go back into my new layer, layer six in this case, and start drawing around the chicken. But I don't necessarily want to draw around all of it. So let me start by just drawing around the front breast up to around here. Now I'm going to start a new layer and draw the eye. A new layer again and draw the beak. A new layer again and draw the comb. So there we have our basic chicken. And now we can go back to the photograph and you can see these little tick boxes down on the right hand side. Well, we're just going to untick the box next to the chicken and we can see our line drawing without the photograph underneath. But the photograph is still there if we wanted to add it back in and refer to it. So this is where the layers really, really come in handy. So as you've just seen, I've copied the chicken stroke hen more or less exactly as it is in the original mosaic. But say I want to make some changes. For a start, I don't really like the kind of ground that it's standing on. Uh, so I'm going to go to that layer and untick the box so it disappears. It's still there in case I change my mind, 
but it's just gone for now. Now we can start making changes to the design. So the first thing that bothers me is the legs. Um, as you can see, they're very close to each other. And since I'm only making this mosaic fairly small, uh, this space is going to be very awkward. So I'm just going to extend and move this little leg a little bit and perhaps this one too. So then I go back to my layers and I've highlighted the front leg. So when you do have multiple layers, as I said, um, it can get confusing if you don't name them. So, but I can easily see that this is the front leg. So I've tapped on the front leg. And now if I press on this arrow, it will block it off, it will highlight it. So I have lots of options here. If I press the green little button, I can turn the leg. Or I can extend it, I can pull it out by, by choosing one of these little blue buttons in various places around the leg like that. So obviously I don't want to do that. However, let's get it back to exactly how it was. Right, so as you can see at the bottom of the screen, there are various options. At the moment, a uh, uniform is highlighted, but there are other options, free form, uniform, distort and warp. So uniform, which is highlighted at the moment, means that any way I move or change the leg, it will stay the same proportions. So since I want to move this leg down a bit, I want to actually change the shape of the leg. I don't want to keep the same proportions. So I'm going to choose distort and move it like that. So I've just moved the two legs away from each other slightly. Now I think I'd like the head to be looking up a bit more. So I will go to the layers, the head layers. So that is these four or five, one, two, three, four, five, six, including the breast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all those layers together so that I can move them as a block. So I'll press the first one and a, a whole row of options will come up. And if you go right to the bottom, you'll see one that says merge down. So I'm pressing on that. And that means this, the top of the head, has merged with the back of the head. So I'm going to do that for all of these parts of the head. So now the head is one entity. So if I... The head, the head is highlighted, so if I press this, select, I can now move it any way I want. And distort is still on, so I want the chicken to look up. I'm going to put it on uniform and just turn it slightly, that's it, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Now you can see that this line is in front of the back leg. So I'm going to press the little eraser button, rub out the bit, which is, oops, why is it not rubbing out? Ah, that's because it's small. Okay. And that's too large. Rub. So I've rubbed that out, now I'm going to redraw it. I've made a few more little changes. I've fiddled around with the feathers on the tail, simplified the inner feathers on, on the wing and the neck, and also added some ground. The last thing I think I need to do is to change this square into a rectangle, because I, I think the piece would work better if it was rectangular. So I find the layer which has the four sides of the square 
And in fact, when I was doing other changes, I merged all four layers of the frame into one layer. So now I can highlight that layer. Hold on, let me go back to um, drawing guide. So I put the squares back on. And then I go back to the little arrow, highlight the frame, and then just pull it out. That seems about right. Just an extra three boxes. And let's center it. There we go. Take the highlight off. And then, of course, I could either extend the ground right to the edge, to, to the frame, or I can leave it how it is and maybe put uh, some sort of border in into the design. Um, anyway, all kinds of different options open to you. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. And as I said, there are there's a lot more to explore with Procreate. But I hope this video will get you started in converting photographs to line drawings that you can use for your mosaic designs. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe below.